Hey guys, so you saw me this morning just getting some work done and now me and Tucker are going to pick up some groceries. It is freezing cold. I should have preheated the car or that's the oven you preheat. I should have started the car and let it warm up, um, but I didn't. So, and he's only shaking because he's excited, not because he's cold, but it is freezing in here. And, um, Anyways, I'm going to take him with me because I'm super excited to test out this pet seatbelt that was sent to me. And I think you guys saw it in my What's in My Purse, but I'm testing it out today and I'm really excited to do that because whenever I bring Tuck with me, I do buckle him in via his um, leash, but that's probably not really the safest thing to do. I just kind of rig it up, but I've been wanting one of these, and so when they asked me if they could send me one, I was like, please, let's do it. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like, and then we're going to test it out. So this is the part that just buckles into the buckle, and then this will hook to their... Um, Harness, I do recommend using a harness and not a collar because that could be really dangerous for them. So definitely use a harness when doing this. But yeah, we're just going to test it out and see how it works. Hush, baby. So I'm going to turn this around. All right. All right, buddy. Are you excited? Are you going to buckle up like, like all of us? Oh, it snapped right in there. And I'm gonna hook it to your um, doohickey here. It's hard to do one-handed. There, you're hooked up. You're seat belted in. You're a safe boy. Here, get in your seat. It's warm. Mama's got the butt warmer on for you. So it's kind of stretchy here. You can see so that they can kind of go if they need to, or in the event of an accident, it does have some give. But it just keeps them safe if you were to get into an accident because if they're not belted in, they can fly and hit the dash or the back of the seat or whatever, and it could kill them. So if you are interested in keeping your pet safe in the car, you can get one. They actually come in a two pack and they're available on Amazon and they're a two pack for like $10 and 94 cents. I will have them linked for you guys below if you're interested, but yeah, I really like it so far. It snapped right in there. No big deal. You can adjust it. It looks like right here. You can adjust the length. So it's this brand SGM. And I will have it linked for you, but Tucker and I are fixing to go get some groceries. We made it to pick up groceries. We're just waiting. I think I didn't blend my lipstick too well this morning. I'm a hot mess, but he's just sat here on this middle part the whole time and fussed at me. But it is so cold. I have my gloves on and I feel so sorry for the people that have to come load my groceries. But I'm really happy that I don't have to get the kids out and go in the store because it's just miserable outside. So we made it. We didn't get into any car accidents to test this sucker out 100%. But I think it's pretty neat. So just waiting on these groceries and then I got to carry them in. Huh. I might freeze on my way into the house. <laughs> I got you some treat and I got mommy some treat too. Oh, thank you so I much. I got my name inside the bag, babe, if you want to make a survey for us. Okay. Here we go. Look there. Oh, 
<laughs> He's probably just too nervous. <laughs> You're too nervous for it. I got you a lot. Oh, thank so you. So you can enjoy with mommy, okay? Thank, thank you. be good. Okay. Oh. I know. You are so sweet. <laughs> I know it's cold. I know. <laughs> Go with mommy. You be good, okay? <laughs> I got you some treat. Okay, bye. You guys have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. You're eating them now, huh? See, I didn't want to take no milk bones from some stranger. <laughs> a lot of you ask me what breed he is, and he is a Morky Poo, so he's a Maltese, Poodle, and Yorkie. I get that question a lot, so that's what he is, and he's five years old. And he's making a mess, aren't ya? Making a mess under there with all them crumbs. Are they good?
guys. So I'm folding Kinsey's laundry in her room and then I'm gonna lay her down for a nap. She's up there in her bed and mm, smells good. So I've just been running around cleaning as you've seen and trying to pay the bills. Pull up. Yes, you've got lion guard pull ups. Don't and, and knock, car pull up. And car pull ups. Don't knock my camera over. Okay? Oh, Don't jump on the bed, no ma'am. Sit down. Like Sit this? down. Thank you. Like this? Yes. Don't jump on the bed. You'll like, get hurt. Like um, this? So I've been trying to pay bills and I've been editing and answering emails and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little overwhelmed. So I'm just trying to get some stuff done so I can sit down for a little bit before I have to cook dinner. I still have to go downstairs and fold several loads of our laundry and I, I'm gonna make the I bed so I have a place to do it. You want a drink? I thought you just had a drink. No, I just had my drink. I just had. So yeah, it <laughs> might help a little when I get her put down for her nap. Because with her up, I just keep having to stop and do something for her, and I can't get anything done. But yeah, it's just one of those days. I've had problems with paying the bills, the internet wasn't working right, the websites weren't working correctly, so I had to contact customer service, and just one thing after another. It's just like a typical Monday, but it's Tuesday because it's after New Year's, but it's Tuesday after Christmas leave and New Year's and it's just a lot. It's like two weeks worth of being on vacation kind of and then coming back and having to get back into that normal schedule. So that's what we're doing. Just trying to get into the swing of things because Maddie starts school tomorrow and Kinsley goes back to preschool on Thursday and I've got a lot to do to catch up with work and yeah I'm overwhelmed can you tell can you tell I'm overwhelmed because I am so I'm just gonna fold this laundry and move on to the next thing I'll put it in the fridge for you. Okay, get into bed. That's what I need. <laughs> Lay down. But mommy, I wanted a drink. You can have it when you wake up. But I'm so scared. You just have a drink. I'll see you when you wake up. But no, it's getting in here. It's getting right here. No, it'll get so yucky. Lay down. Follow every step, every road, every single trace Analyzing Try to figure out those lines up on your face Okay guys, I came into the bathroom so y'all could see me because it's dark in my room. 
I don't want to open the blinds in there because then I'll see all the dust and I do not have the energy to tackle my room and the bathroom today. That's just gonna have to wait till tomorrow. I just finished all that laundry and put it away. I only have one load in the dryer and a load of towels and rags, but they're also going to wait until tomorrow because I just need to relax before it's time to make dinner. So I'm just gonna go have a little break. Now the lighting sucks, but I'm making dinner and I'm making Philly cheesesteak hoagies and this cracked out tater tot casserole stuff and I'm just following the recipe here on my phone and I'm gonna kind of make it my own because I think I'm missing um, an ingredient but anyways for the tater tots I'm gonna get them started and I need to preheat my oven to 350 so I did that and then I have a bag of tater tots but I'm supposed to put all the ingredients into this bowl first so I'm supposed to do a packet of ranch dressing. So I'm gonna put that in there. And then I'm supposed to do bacon bits. And get them open. Come on. Dump the whole thing in there. Um, two cups of shredded cheese. Two cups of shredded cheese. I'm using this Velveeta. And I'm gonna do it in this little half. Cup of this. So One, two, three, four. Okay, and then am I missing some of this? Sour cream soup. Oh, I gotta get some soup. Let's see if I have that. You. Yes. So it calls for a can of, what is this, cream of chicken. So I'm gonna put that in there. And then it calls for sour cream. How much sour cream? I don't really have a whole lot of sour cream, so. That's just gonna have to get what it gets. bit of sour cream left. I'll do like a spoon of it in there. Put that much in there. So everything. I'm gonna add chives. Actually I'm not doing those ones so I have fresh chives I'm gonna chop up and put in there and I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic salt in there. I think it calls for salt and pepper but I'm gonna do garlic salt and pepper and then I'm gonna chop up these chives really quickly so I'm just gonna take a few of these because I don't want to be I don't want it to be like overwhelming but I'm just gonna dice them up in there all right, so I've got everything in there that it calls for. So then it just says to mix it up. That light behind my head is not really helping out my case here, but I'm doing the best I can. So I'm mixing all of that up, and then it says to put your tater tots in there and roll them in that and get them covered, and then put them in your baking dish. And then let's see how long I gotta bake it for. Lightly spray the pan. And then bake for 40 to 45 minutes. All right, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put it in the oven for probably 45 minutes and then I'm gonna get started on the cheese steaks. Okay, so for this, I'm using this beef bottom round steak where it's kind of already thin sliced. That's Kinsley. Um, and I'm gonna be sauteing my pepper my green pepper and onion in here. I'm gonna put some olive oil in there and I'm gonna saute them first. So I'm gonna chop these up and saute them in there with some salt and pepper. And um, I think I'm gonna put that in on the meat 
and use a little bit of this. I was originally gonna do this in the crock pot, so I got what they called for, but then I realized that it needed to cook for eight hours and I don't have eight hours. So I'm just kind of winging this, but those are all the ingredients they said I needed, so I'm just gonna figure it out along the way. But I'm gonna start with sauteing these first. Okay, so I cut up the pepper and the onion and I put some olive oil in there and some salt and pepper. And there's not a whole lot because the girls and I are not going to eat the peppers and onions. We don't like them. But I do like the flavor of them. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do this yet because I know we won't want... I want the flavor on the meat, but I don't want the big hunk. So I'll probably just pick them out of ours because we're picky like that. But Chris will like the peppers and onions and I will like the flavor. So I'm sauteing these. It says to keep them covered and let them get soft so that's what i'm doing this is my new pioneer woman pan and i love it and i've not ever had one like this before so i'm excited to have it and i like how they have all of the lids have these little holes to let some of the steam out but i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then i'm gonna get my meat ready You don't want some, do you? Do you want some? Let me make you a piece of meat. Let me make you a little Philly cheesesteak for Tucker. Mm. You're too cute. You're too cute. <laughs> Okay, so I decided to, and the recipe says to do this too, to take the sauteed vegetables and set them aside in a bowl. So I'm going to put them in this bowl and cover it, and then I'm going to do the meat separately. Okay, so I added the a little bit of this beef stock, um, the Italian seasoning, some garlic salt and pepper, and I put the first round in here, and I'm just kind of mixing it all up, and then I'm going to saute it. I'm going to have to do a little bit at a time because I want to make sure it gets cooked, and I still have all of this, so I'm going to kind of have to do it in um, increments. Is that what you want to say? So I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat back up to medium and saute that meat until it's brown. And then I'm going to set it on the hoagies and do the rest of the meat. And then I will put them in the oven. Okay, so I'm entirely too impatient to do that. So I just put it all in there and it worked out. This pan is really big and it'll all work out so <laughs> I was like mm, yeah I'm just gonna put it all in there so that's what I'm doing I put it down on low heat and then I put them all in there and I've turned it up and I'm gonna saute them all together that will save me so much time and it worked out anyway so that's what I'm doing and then I'm gonna go ahead and put everything on the hoagies and um, put the cheese on and then it calls to put them in the oven for a few minutes on 300 so I'll turn the oven down when I get the tater tots out and I'll put them in there until the cheese melts. Um, on the girls and eyes, we won't have vegetables. I'll just put those on my husband. So, almost done. I think we have 15 minutes left on the tater tots. And this won't take but maybe five more minutes to get this meat browned. So, almost done. So, I'm using these tongs I got at Walmart. I think Madeline actually got them as a gift because she likes to cook. But I'm using them because they work really well. So I'm using them to kind of keep everything separated because they are thin little strips, so they do kind of stick together, but I'm trying to keep them separated to make sure that everything gets cooked evenly, but it smells amazing, and it's working out really good so far. Okay. 
Okay, so everything's out of the oven, or not out of the oven, the tater tot casserole is out of the oven. And now I'm just gonna put provolone cheese. I think I'm gonna do about three slices on each of them, and then I'm gonna throw them in the oven and let this cheese melt. Probably only gonna do two slices on that one because it doesn't have a lot of meat. All right. I'm looking wild, so don't pay attention to me. I think I'm gonna see what five minutes does on those, but I have the oven light on, and so I'm just gonna keep a close eye on how that cheese does because I don't want it to burn. I want the hoagie buns to get a little toasted and for that to melt, but, so I'm gonna see what five minutes does and then it'll be all ready to eat. <laughs> so this is the final result. <laughs> Got mine with no veggies. So, we're gonna dig in and see if it's good.